the former Minnesota governor from, let's see, 1999 to 2003, right? Yeah. He has been a vocal critic of the political system that he used to be a part of. And in his latest book, which is called Democrips and Rebloodlicans, he claims that both parties have turned politics into gang warfare, warfare and that you will be wasting your vote if you vote at all in the upcoming yeah. election. So, yeah, well, they're saying no. Governor, they're saying no. He's but disagreeing with that um, intro. <laughs> What's wrong with my intro? The wrong with your intro is, no, 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 no. I'm telling people to vote, but don't vote for Democrats or Republicans. Okay. Okay. I still want people to vote, okay. absolutely. Okay, okay, so if they're not voting for Democrats or Republicans, who are they voting for? That's the point. You know, they tell you, no, I'm voting for Governor Gary Johnson, the former governor of New Mexico who's running under the, under the Libertarian Party. And uh, all Ron Paul supporters, I hope, will too, because Ron Paul was a Libertarian so in 88. don't vote for the candidates? No, don't vote for a Democrat or Republican. Just vote who, for that, whom you like. That's wasting your vote, because if you vote for a Democrat, they always tell you, if you vote for the third party or a third candidate, you're wasting your vote. I'd like to reverse that and say you're wasting your vote if you vote for a Democrat or Republican because you're going to get the same thing. It does not matter. I'd argue that a vote is never wasted, but I would also say that you know if you should look at intention. I think you're onto something. Are you just voting party lines blindly, or are you voting for the person who's going to turn things around or make things better, or continue to make things better? Well, the thing you need to understand is they're all subjected to the party. That's why it's a gang. Mm -hmm. yeah, Loyal wait, loyalty is first to the gang, then it's to the money that the gang gets. We, the people, might be third or fourth. Take a look at our stagnation today. It's because the two gangs are so, you have to support the gang, and I call them gangs. They're not yeah. parties. The definition of party is a festive occasion. You're taking kind of an, an interesting stance, because most people are saying, we got to bring it together. With Kumbaya, and you say, look, this is not happening. These are two gangs that are at war with one another, essentially. Well, why Do you not think change that's a good the system? Why not change well, that? I'd like to do you that. Know, all the way the money is poured into What I'm into, doing into is elections. changing the Let's system. Try to change that. Wait, they tell you in the private sector competition is good, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Well, then why for 20 years have we not a th heard a third voice in a debate? All you get is Coke and Pepsi. <laughs> okay, so what you are saying... What you are saying is vote for an individual, don't vote for a party, but then how does that, how do those individuals get into the race? Well, it's very difficult because the, because the two parties control the system. Okay, so what is the solution? The solution, the first thing that should be done can be done locally. Remove all gang names and symbols from a ballot and just put the candidate's name. They make it far too easy. You don't have to know the candidate. If you're conservative, you walk in and look for Republican. If you're liberal, you walk in and look for Democrat. You don't know the, the person you're saying going exactly. into that booth. Exactly. Let's make it, remove those names, then it becomes imperative for the voter to educate themselves. But you know, what does this candidate during, stand during for? During the primaries, you boy, Ron Paul, was one of the candidates. He didn't win the uh, nomination. He had a fair shot. Are you kidding me with the media? He finished a close second to Bachman in, in Iowa. They didn't even mention Ron Paul's name. They went down to Santorum, who finished about fifth. Well, who are you blaming for that? that yeah, because they're that's... all part of it. The media is part of this, too, and it all goes to our recent Supreme Court decision, which will kill this country. That's true. I agree when, with that. when they said corporations have the same rights as individuals that's and it. money is free that's speech. It. Well, get look at this scenario now, if you will. Our election could be controlled now by a foreign country. All they have to do is form a corporation. They can pump unlimited amount of money into it. They and they've done that and in this, this and election. There's no open disclosure. Right. Even they've even it. took that away. Who's responsible? Right. The Democrips and the Rebloodlicans, and my apologies to the Crips and Bloods. Why don't, why don't, <laughs> why don't you run? You ran for, for a, a governor all those years ago. Why don't you get into this instead of just because talking about they, it? Because, by the way, and I apologize to Prince, I wore Jimi Hendrix yeah. today. <laughs> but I think you'll accept that, you know, being, uh, it's Minnesota Day here, by the way. Why don't I run? I might, but here's the difficulty. I have to get ballot access in all 50 states, and it's a different standard in every state. That's what makes you spend this obscene amount of money to get elected. Put it to you this way. I'm the only elected official major in the last 50 years 
who made more money doing the job than I spent to get it. I only spent $300,000 to become governor of Minnesota. Those days are gone. But, but oh, no, you. they're not. No, I'll do it again. Does this sincere. discourage this you, Jesse? You'll do if it you again. Would be the, the, de again. the Dems and Repubs, my election yeah. spent $12 million. Wait, are you going I to run again? You just said you'll do it you'll again. Do it again. You, you again. want to announce now you're going to run again? I might. Was that the but, but here's it. what it'll be. Are, Wait, here's what it'll what be. Wait, I've already practiced it, okay. Barbara. I've will been a mayor and a again? governor. Okay, will you run again? Yes or no? I'm, and when? I, I won't answer yeah. yes or no right now, but if, I, but if I do run... In this election? No. Okay. There's no time. Yeah, there's no time. I have to wait four years. Yeah, yeah. If I do run for president four years from now, mm -hmm. I will run as an individual with no political party so that if you vote for me, you don't have the baggage of these two gangs coming along and you'll know I make my own decisions and I'm not beholding to these gangs that run okay, our country. We will wait four years and hear what you've decided. Our thanks to Governor Jesse Venturi. You are always interesting, and it's always fun to wrestle with you. I gotta go. What are you gonna say? Quick? One last thing okay. I want people to understand: these these multi corporations. Do you realize they spend more money on lobbyists than what they pay in yes. taxes? Yes, they do. Okay. Now, what should that on tell that you? Provocative note. That's good. We thank you. We're going to tell you that members of our audience are going on with Governor Ventura's book. You are always interested. Come back again.